go. Now, everyone has got their views on uh, how to cut council budgets, but we couldn't find anybody, we didn't expect to find anybody, who would want to get rid of lollipop men or women. So, we were surprised when we heard of one local authority, and there are others, that wanted to do just that. Here's Simon Bozeman. They take to the streets come wind, rain or shine to protect our children, but now they're mobilising for a different reason. No longer just protecting their community, this time out to protect their jobs. Thank you, see you in the morning darling. Okay, be good. Now apparently there's a new riddle going round the school playground, it goes like this. What's yellow goes out in all weathers and is facing extinction. Yeah, that's right, the lollipop person. One of the many places that they are in danger is Dorset, where the county council's road safety budget faces cuts, meaning some of their 60 posts may have to go. We're there for everybody. At the end of the day, we're there to keep an eye on the children, we're there for the grandparents, we're there for everybody. Everybody that yeah, passes and yeah. gives a smile, you know, it cheers our day up, it cheers your day up. Parents um, get used to lollipop people being there. Um, they know they can trust their children to be crossed safely. Recently I had nearly a taxi go into me. Um, you know, if, we weren't, if I wasn't there, that child that I was crossing, I don't know what might have happened. They're obviously not happy, but what about the kids who use them every day? Um... You should keep the lollipop ladies. If you look and you don't really think about the lollipop lady, you just go ahead and you might get hit by a bus or something. No, we don't want that. No. Grandma Helena also backs the campaign to save the school crossing wardens. What would you do then if the lollipop lady wasn't there? If Nikki wasn't there? It would be very awkward, obviously, because a lot of the times my daughter's not able to take her daughters. I can help out, but obviously I can't do it every day either. Some councils will say, why don't the parents chip in themselves and cover the cost of the lollipop ladies? Well, no, because we already pay our taxes for, you know, most things. So, no, not really. I think we've already paid for it um, in the first place. We really do need them. Even with the lollipop patrols, the roads around Holy Trinity Primary School get busy. So school governor Helen Toft runs a walking bus, a convoy of kids she supervises walking to school. Does she think parents could take over altogether? Well, yes, in some cases, some parents are able, as you'll see around us, there are parents taking their children to school, but there's a lot of parents who simply need to work and if their job starts at 9 o'clock and school starts at 9 o'clock, they can't be in two places at once. So they depend on safe routes to school for children to get there in one piece and to, and to know that they'll be safe. School crossing patrols began in 1937 when Mrs Betty Hunt was appointed by Bath City Council to help children cross roads outside Kingsmead School. Since then, they sprung up all around the country, becoming a much-loved part of growing up for many British school children. For me. Surprisingly, though, it's never been compulsory for councils to provide them. Now, with local authorities facing cutbacks, many of them are looking at ways, understandably, of saving money. And a recent survey found that one in four local authorities contacted were either planning to scale back or completely scrap their lollipop teams. So, could technology provide a cheaper solution? Why don't they just put in a, a zebra crossing or a pelican crossing? Because surely, surely that's got to be cheaper, isn't it? Zebra crossings rely on vehicles stopping, but also on children making a decision when it's safe to cross. Uh, sometimes they can get that wrong. Having a school crossing patrol there means that that is controlled. But it's a brave local councillor who will want to be remembered for cutting lollipop men and women. And in Dorset, the local uproar seems to be hitting the mark. How much money are you potentially going to save here by removing the lollipop men and ladies that are at risk? Well, it's roughly a thousand pounds per uh, crossing patrol per turn. And bearing in mind that we're dealing with public money here and we have to make sure that we use public money safely and wisely, um, every little bit counts. You know, the county council this year has to save 31 million pounds across its budget. In Dorset, the local uproar seems to be hitting the mark. We've learnt the council is now having a rethink and is likely to recommend that 50 out of the 60 posts remain while seeking alternative funding for the other 10. It may be that lollipop patrols are a cut too far. You could be stuck in traffic and then you'll just get us smiling at you and it'll just make your day a lot easier. Kiss in the morning.
That's me. That's my shift done. Yeah, I understand about budget cuts, but you can't get rid of the lollipop ladies. You lollipop can't lady. get rid of them. You can't. No, Nina, no. you've got two children. Yes, oh, that's yeah. cruel. <laughs> that's really <laughs> cruel. I, I mean, I've got a seven-year-old and a four-year-old, and, and they love their lollipop lady, and she really... She's actually taught them, you know, little traffic rules. It's fantastic. Yeah. You know, she's yeah. guided them, so I, I think it's hard. <laughs> they're, they're acting. I agree, yeah. but not everyone's a fan, you see. There is a thing called lollipop rage, where motorists get very <laughs> angry it. about being held up while children cross the road. Now, isn't that right, Mr Lollipop Man? Yeah, and some councils are so sick <laughs> of their lollipop men and women getting abuse that they're putting secret cameras in lollipops, like this. <gasps> so, you better behave yourself or we'll be after you. Uh, sorry if you've got HD here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I can't believe that. I just wave to mine. I just wave to my lollipop lady. It gives a lovely warm Do feeling. you use a lollipop lady to cross the road? Well, no, I don't, but when I'm driving and they stop and I, uh, 